these girls are awesome. We get along so good. We're laughing all the time, and we're fierce competitors. And I know we're gonna, you know, try hard. And I, what I love about us is that we're gonna teach each other. I mean, Haley's gonna go through the racing form. We're gonna handicap and sort of come up with a game plan. And uh, she's gonna tell us how to ride the course, and um, you know, try and eavesdrop on a few jockeys. <laughs> Maybe get a few tips from you. Um, you know, just I want to learn. I want to, you know, get to know what's going on. And I, I think I would love for us to win. I would, that would mean a lot. I'm not gonna fly all the way across the ocean just to, uh, to, to play around on some ponies. I come to play. And Haley, Chantel, and I, we spoke about this in, in Pimlico at the Ladies Legends Challenge, and it was a bit of uh, Haley's brainchild as she kind of brought the idea to our attention, and both Chantel and myself, we were all over it. And, and to come over here, and like I said, I, when I get out on the racetrack, I like to win, and that is the only reason I'm here. I'm glad that she's actually on my team and not on, you know, not my opposition. Um, but yeah, we were having a, a, a drink, me, Chantal and Emma, after the, the previous meeting and we just like, oh, to mention the show got up and it would be good to get a girls team, so I suggested it and then a year on they've come good. And how important is the Shergar Cup? As I said, year in and year out, you're, you're a part of this weather, and hopefully this female team will continue to go on. But it must be something you, you earmark in your calendar every year. Yeah, it's good fun, and, and not just for me. Like, my family come along, and they get very well looked after, and my agent comes along with his family. And it's just something that everyone puts in the calendar, and it's something a little bit different. And I think it's good for a non-racing audience to get interested, especially with the girls' team now. Um, probably going to get overshadowed by the Olympics, but hopefully people that haven't got tickets instead of, you know, wandering around London should come to Ascot instead.